guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're down here in the beautiful Cosmel, Mexico. We've been diving all week, seeing a lot of great things, and I've been making some really awesome side mount dives while I'm down here. But you guys have always been asking me, hey, Brian, what do you keep in your side mount pouch? So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you exactly what I'm carrying in my pouch while I'm down here. Now, one thing I want you to understand is your geographical location and the type of dives that you're making is really gonna be the determining factor in what you carry. That means what I carry here is not gonna be what I carry when I'm at home, say in overhead environments or in cold, dark, deep environments. This is just what I'm carrying here in the tropics. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what all I've got in here. Here in the back pouch, I've got a course just a set of wet notes. Now the cool thing about wet notes is, is I can communicate with another diver. I can take notes, I can do anything I need to with these here. It makes it a lot easier trying to communicate, especially when you're in an area where there may be a language barrier as well. So it comes in very handy. Inside the main pouch here, I've got a couple very, very important items that we're gonna go over. First and foremost, I have an SMB and reel. Now it's very important that anytime you're diving in an open water environment, you always have an SMB and reel. You pop up to the surface, you can inflate that system, you can get seen by the surface crew, or if you're lost somewhere, you can wave it or whatnot. Plus it's an additional flotation device if needed. Moving on down, of course, I have my roll up snorkel. Now you guys know I'm not a big fan of wearing a snorkel while diving. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't even think they're practical to wear while diving. And with today's technology, you don't even have to wear it. You can simply pull it out when you're underwater during your safety stop, clip it on, and then you'll have it. So there's not really a need for a big bulky snorkel anymore. I will be making a video in the near future showing you how you can actually do that without actually having to wear the snorkel underwater. So that's my snorkel of choice there. I've also got in here two sets of bungees. And let me explain what each set's for. This smaller set of bungee, that is the same bungee that's on my side mount harness. So in the event that my bungee snaps, I can simply just take this, wrap it around my body, and I can re-secure the tank with it. What this bungee is actually designed for, these are my hose restrainer bungees. So you know those little rubber bands that go around your cylinder when you're side mount diving to hold your hoses in place? If one of those fails or breaks underwater, I can take this, wrap it around the tank, tie it in a knot, and I've got a hose restrainer while I'm there as well. And then last but not least, zip ties. Zip ties come in so handy. If you are, say, diving in colder environments where you got thick gloves, you may not be able to tie the best knot, but you can simply take a zip tie, zip tie something shut. You can zip tie your mouthpiece back on. You can fashion a fin strap out of this. There's so many uses to zip ties, and I would encourage you to always have at least four or five of them in, say, your side mount pouch. But guys, that's it. That's it for this video. That's exactly what I'm keeping in my side mount pouch while on this trip. Now these items do change. Maybe in the future I'll make you one for uh, what I carry when I'm say double tank side mountain or I'm even just in colder environments. You guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But guys, I gotta go get on the boat. We got two more dives to go out and make today and hopefully they're gonna be great dives as well. So until then, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.